Middle East. Now, look, I did, part of the reason we went into Iraq uh, was uh, the main reason we went into Iraq at the time was we thought he had weapons of mass destruction. It turns out he didn't, but he had the capacity to make weapons of mass destruction. But I also talked about the human suffering in Iraq. And I also talked the need to advance the freedom agenda. Well, it's, it's, it's pretty clear that uh, the intelligence communities of several countries who had assessed his, uh, who claimed that he had weapons of mass destruction, uh, we haven't found them. So, again... You uh, think that there's, they might still be there and we just haven't found I doubt it. I think we've covered that country, uh, but there are other reasons to go in. Yeah. Shit. Never to tackle Mary type, sure I like guns, but see I ain't dumb If ever looking down a barrel, believe I'd run I'm trying to live till about 90 and see my son succeed life's run Before breath leaves my lungs, but I don't got the cash locked in a stash So as far as security, I don't know too many options I have And I'm not gonna grab a Glock or a Mac and hustle rocks on the app If that's profit or cash, it's not gonna last I'm 20 something and the money's not coming my way But this military recruiter may have something to say He sees me every day on the way to get a blunt for the haze and I'm high enough to listen to him today Fuck it. He asked, you ever think about joining the military, son? What? Busting military guns, killing everyone? To me? Not really. I'm not a hippie, but who am I to decide who lives their life or who dies? Plus, I got feelings. So on that note, I was about to dip and be high still. That's when he mentioned the GI Bill. Basically saying, I serve a couple of years being all I could be, and they pay college for me. Shit, I want a degree. And that's basically saying they're giving me dollars for free. But what if I get shot in the knees or die overseas? Then how come me having any family possibly be? That's the only reason I give my time is swapping for cheese He said, you can work in supply, no one's serving their dies And I thought, how non like threatening an office could be Fuck it, sign me up, might be fun, maybe servants are right. I mean, I seen Bill Murray in stripes, so I did it The day I kissed my pretty girlie's face And promised when I come back, we'd make a little girl to chase In a bitter world of hate, we make the night that I'm back But I died in a crash on a plane ride to Iraq Iraq Convicted on two to stay the fuck up out of prison, man. Ain't shit I won't do. Ain't that I'm afraid on my time, but I'd rather be free. And I'm facing eight charges, get the savage in me. Decided ain't nothing wrong with a casualty spree. I love it when the victim screams, laugh at the pleas for all the lives to be spared. Fuck, if I only cared, duct taped in the van, you say the loneliest prayers. Sometimes I drive slow, sometimes I drive quick. One time I left a hitchhiker leaking with an ice pick. Now I'm in his holding cell, zoning on this life shit. Thinking of the gigantic numbers that I might get. Public defender, Mr. Court date for sentencing. Shackles on my hands and feet. You feel the tension in the air, then the judge cut the shit with a knife, he said. Considering enlisting, and I'll spare your life. It wasn't nothing to consider, live nigga ain't scared of shit. Now I got bigger burners than I did my hair with. Who you staring at? I'm the god in these parts now. They left us in your desert, and I'm tearing his heart out. Kill whoever called him insurgents, the Merkin's legal here. Then murder all day, survival's to speak in fear. Who cares? I beat the system, permission to stay in. Till eight year old grenades made his way to our base camp. Boom! But tell them about that Afghanistan shit, man. I'm content, trapped. I'm saying that this black man born with a bad hand had to make another plan. Got me thinking like, damn, how the fuck a nigga go from moving land to him to Afghanistan? Shit's real. Lips the test and blood spill. Death and death and it's a different kind of killer for real. I'm missing my wife and she's for these. I sacrifice my life and be the whole world apart from each other. I'm going crazy not knowing what to expect. It's different for everybody. This my first time. Well, you know, I lost my son in Iraq in August 2004, and there's many, many, many military families whose sons and daughters, many, many, many citizens in Iraq whose sons and daughters have been caught up in this war. And we, the military family, the cities of Iraq who lost sons and daughters, we know how difficult it is to lose a son and daughter in the war. 
is affecting everybody. Mothers and fathers at home waiting for sons and daughters coming back from this war with broken minds, broken bodies. Now many of these military families ended up being a ghost star family like me. And this is insane. We're losing our future. Our